Hey everybody, welcome to Snack Crate Teacher Taste Testing. You'll see after this introduction, several of your teachers and administration who have decided to taste test the Snack Crate box that unfortunately you won't get to try this month. What is it? It is, drum roll, India. I wish you guys could really taste it, but I'll leave this here so hopefully you can see more about it. It usually comes with stickers, but this time it come with it came with how to make non bread. If you'd like to try that, it came with some India trivia and a game. I hope you enjoy this video. See ya. Morning students. I'm trying Kata Mita for Miss Armstrong. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. It's pretty good, a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. Kind of tastes like what we would call sesame seed trail mix. It's pretty All right, so this is Mr. Harbolt. And I'm going to be taste testing food from India. And the first thing I'm going to be tasting are bingo mad angles. They look like pita chips. It's funny on the back. The number one thing they're trying to get you to buy this product for is it says perfect triangle shapes. Like that is enticing. And then, but it does say next, lip smacking flavors, an amazing bite. I don't know what that means in India, but we'll find out. All right. Well, this is somewhat typical of things I've had from India. It's salty. It's hot, like spicy hot, and it's a little bit sweet. Not bad. They definitely seem to be pretty much pita chips. So, not bad. Next, this is Rolla Cola, the solid cola, it says. It's a roll, like lifesavers, except without the hole in the middle. Looks like that. See? It's funny, a lot of candies that's supposed to taste like cola. Well, this one, I mean, it tastes like cola, but it also has kind of a lemon flavor to it. But, tasty. All right. And the last one is Kacha Mango Bites. And I've, I've had things similar to this, so this probably will not surprise me of how it tastes. I'm going to put my cola aside and put it back in. All right. Kacha Mango Bites. This is a hard candy. Hopefully it's going to taste like mango. Well, it's tasty. It has a somewhat of a mango taste. It's hard to make a mango candy. That makes taste perfectly like mango. It's I don't think it has mango in it. But yeah, kind of typical. Tasty. Good stuff. Alright. So they were all pretty tasty. 
nothing that tasted too awfully weird. I I like weird food, but this stuff, as far as the weird scale, scale it doesn't go too high on the weird scale. scale. All right, I guess I'm done with this. So that was fun. Hopefully you kids will get a hold of some weird food and try it. Don't be afraid. I am trying curry curd chili chotka chips. It says it's made with dal, rice, and corn. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like a Cheeto. It says it's chili, obviously, so I'm guessing it's spicy. That's what they look like. Ooh. Okay, here goes nothing. Little lime, little spice, not bad. I would eat them again. One thumbs up. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm going to do a taste test of Fab Bourbon. It is described as a chocolate-flavored sandwich biscuit. So, let's see what we're working with. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that one's broken, so hold on. Look, it says bourbon on it. And it's like a little sandwich cookie. So, all right. I hope it's not actually bourbon flavored because that would be atrocious. Let's try this bad boy. It's crunchy. It's kind of like an Oreo if you just stretched it out a bit. Okay. Not a lot of flavor in the little, in the cookie. And then the inside just kind of tastes like cheap, squeezy chocolate. I mean, if I was in India and needed a late night snack, I'd go for it. Or if somebody handed it to me. Hmm, it's growing on me. All right, so next time you're in India, pick up Fab Bourbon Chocolate Sandwich Cookies. Doesn't taste like bourbon. Hey everybody, um, this is one of the few times that I do a taste test of the snack crate box, but I grabbed Jellimals Jelly Bears. And apparently it comes with a little toy. Let's try it. Oh, it come in individual. It come in individually wrapped little jellies. Oh, that's a toy. Is, let's see. Um, I'm going to try the orange one. Jello notes. Oh, they're like little bears. Let's see. Plastic. Um. I'm sticky. I'm not really getting. <laughs> I'm not really getting an orange taste. They're okay. Kind of like the Haribo jelly's better. It's like a. It's not like a gummy. It's like a gelatin like thing. Uh, let's see what this toy is. I think it's an air blow spinner. Says toy on it. It says it's a sticky tape. It's 
a blow spell. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. But that's what it is. And I guess, I don't know if you blow into here, but this little thing spins and blow into that. I don't know. I don't know. But there's my take on it. I might try one. I think, okay, let me try one of them. I'll try the green. Just to be adventurous. Oh, they're so sticky. It's the green. They're really squishy sticky. Let's see. Oh, mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. No. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to be trying today. It's called Kiss Me. And it is a bar, almost like a toffee hard bar that is made with alaichi, which is a spice that is grown in India. And it is um, one of the most expensive spices in the world. This is what it looks like. See, it's almost like a toffee. Well, it's not too hard. It's really good. It has like a smoky, nutty flavor. And it's not like stick to your tea sticky. Mmm, that is good. I hate you guys didn't get to try it, but thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be doing a taste test uh, of some snacks from India. So let's see what we've got. Uh, all right, so this we have uh, a, a bag of this is, as you can see, this Lay's uh, potato chips. This is, as you can see, the flavor India's Magic Masala. Um, so I'm going to taste this here in a second, <clears throat> but I did want to uh, read off some of the ingredients in it. Um, dried mango powder, coriander seed powder, chili powder, <clears throat> um black pepper, ginger, garlic, um, stuff like that. So we're going to see, it's got a, it's got a red chili on the, on the bag. So I'm expecting this to be, uh, spicy to at least to some degree. Let's we can get it open. Second. Bags being uncooperative. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> India's magic, magic masala potato chips. Okay, so right right away, uh, I've got a lot of the black pepper uh, and the chili in there. Um, I taste the garlic pretty well. Uh, it's got a, actually, it's got a really good uh, kick to it. If you like, <clears throat> oh man, that sneaks up on you. <laughs> um, if you like spicy food, these are really good. Uh, I do like spicy stuff. I would de definitely, I would definitely eat these again. I don't know one of the ingredients is ginger. <coughs> ginger, excuse me. Um, I haven't tasted that too much. I'm mostly getting the, excuse me, mostly getting the chilies. Um, but yeah, this is. I, I like this really well. I would eat this again. I'm probably going to actually finish this bag here in a little bit. But I can't finish it right now. We got uh, two other. Uh, two other snacks to uh, take a look at. This next one is uh, Haldoram's Bujia Sev. Um, again, hot and spicy. Uh, extruded fried Indian snack. So I'm not sure. It looks a lot like actually like um, 
kind of like po potatoes, straws, uh, in a way. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm expecting this one to be another another spicy one, especially since it says so right on the bag. Oh wow, it's uh actually looks a lot more like uh, like noodles than anything else. I'll show you. I don't know if I can get this without spilling. Actually, I'm going to do this. Angle this in there. There we go. Yeah, so you can see it actually looks like, looks a lot like noodles before they've been boiled or things like that. <clears throat> so let's take, let's see. I'm guessing you just eat these with your fingers. That's what I'm going to do. The texture is not really quite what I expected. I'm trying to, I gotta explain it. I'm not really sure how to explain the texture, actually. Um, it's not bad, it's not a bad texture. It's just not one, not something I'm not, I'm really sure how to describe. This, again, this is also a fairly spicy one. Um, it's not... It's not quite as spicy as the chips were. But there's also in here um, kind of uh, kind of like little breadstick type deals. Um, I just ate one. This is Dig through here and find another one to show you. Watch that, watch that be like the only one in here. Um, now the breadstick thing that I just ate out of here, uh, it had a lot of the um, like the ginger and uh, some of the other flavors, clove and nutmeg. I can taste those really well. Um, so I think that. These, these little things, you're not going to get as much of that. But these are actually, this is still uh, pretty good. I would probably, I think I'd probably eat this again too. We have one more we're going we're to taste. This, <coughs> excuse me, this is uh, Fab Jammin'. <clears throat> These are little cookies you can see um, with black currant jam. In them. I think black currant's not really something you come across uh, in the U.S. too much, but uh, I've heard of it, but I've never tasted it. I think so I'm kind of I'm pretty curious about this. Look at the little cookie sandwiches, and way you can see it. Did they? So that's what they look like. There's the there's the black currant right there, uh, and it looks like some granulated sugar, uh, bigger chunks like confectioner sugar. I think is the right kind of sugar I'm talking about. Um, and then a type of almost like Oreo cream looks like in the middle. Uh, I don't know if it'll taste like that or not. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Jammin' Fab Jammin' Cookies. Oh, that's really good. Um, so, obviously, it's it's really sweet because it's got the big, the big sugar crystals uh, in it. The, uh, the white cream is... Is similar to other kind of sandwich cookies. It's not overly sweet like uh, like out of an Oreo. The jam in it, the black currant jam, it's really good. Um, 
it tastes to me. To me, it tastes like somewhere between like grape and plum. Um, it, I like the flavor a lot. It is a little bit chewy, but that's not a bad thing. It's just the, the nature of a jam, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this cookie. It's not a flavor you taste uh, much here. Like, I've never, I think, had black currant, but it's really good. Like I said, it's it's it's, it's similar to grape. It's similar to plum. It's like, I, I, to me, it's somewhere in, in between grape and plum. I like it really well. And I also like the design of the cookies. Uh, they've got those ridges, and then there's a nice little design there on the back, too. So, uh, hopefully, if, if you get a chance to uh, get a hold of some of these, try them out. I guess, especially if you, if you like spicy stuff, the the, um, the masala chips were really good. Um, and then, so were the, the black currant jam cookies. I think I like the... The Lay's better than the uh, than the Halderams, um, just because I think the the um, the masala potato chips had a bolder flavor. Um, it came it came through a lot better. Not that the other ones were bad. Um, it just wasn't as as powerful of a, of a taste, I think. So that was a taste of India. If you get a chance. Uh, Give them a give them a go. All right, what we have here is the Britannia Good Day Cashew Cookies from Snackbox. <clears throat> so I'm expecting these to be kind of nutty. They look like you've got the ridges there and kind of bumpy on the back. I don't know if you can see that. And if you look really close, you can see chunks of cashew, I assume, <clears throat> inside, in there, so let's try it. They taste like, if you go to the store, especially like Walmart and dollar stores and stuff like that, they'll have these tins of cookies at Christmas time, where they used to have tins of cookies at Christmas time, that are all kinds of different fancy cookies. And that's what this tastes like. It tastes like, it doesn't taste as cashewy as I thought it would, I think. It's not, it's not unusual. It's good. I will finish these. <laughs> but they are not... It's not an exotic snack that I would think of when you're thinking of something that comes from India. Which, I guess because it's Britannia, it's a British company, so it's going to be something a little bit norm more normal. But yeah, they're good. And I could see me eating these. Okay. Since you guys are not here to um, partake in the snack crate from Miss Armstrong, she has uh, shared her goodies, or maybe not goodies, 
with uh, the teachers so that we could um, taste this and share the experience with you. So I'm gonna show you what I have and um, attempt to pronounce it. <laughs> and I don't have anything to drink with me and I've already started my video, so I don't even care. So there was uh, these little candies in there. It's called a Kacha Mango Bite. Of course, this is the safest one that I've gotten. So I'm sure it's probably gonna be delicious. I don't have a garbage can close either. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wait, no, it might be good. I don't know if that's good or bad. It kind of tastes like mango. I mean, it tastes like mango, but the flavor is very dull. Like there's not much there. So, mm, it's okay. I don't, I don't think I like it. The flavor is just not strong enough. It's kind of like, you know how you drink the LaCroix waters or whatever that are just like barely flavored? That's about how this is. It's more like there's just stuff there. And, <coughs> hold on. I just spit this out. It wasn't too bad. Oh, I should have shown you. It was like green. Anyway, um, I was kind of really excited to taste this one. It's called Mystic Mocha. And um, it says made from the finest coffee beans. So I'm assuming that it's chocolate coffee. It has sugar, cocoa solids. So the main ingredient is sugar. We know it's going to be sweet. Cocoa solids, cocoa butter, and coffee, 2% coffee. So, got a nice little packaging here. It's a, a wrapper inside of a box. Oh, I hope this whole video is not backwards. That would really, really stink. Either way, if it is, all the words will be backwards and you'll know. Um, try this. I'm just gonna just kind of, I almost wonder if this is made for cooking. A very bitter chocolate. It's very, it's very bitter chocolate. <laughs> sugar. Wow. But it's an extremely bitter chocolate and extremely bitter coffee. It's good. It's good. Maybe. I like it. I don't know if I like it or not. It's okay. Oh gosh. It's very bitter. That's the Mystic Mocha. Very bitter. Okay. I need like a palate cleanse over here. There's no coffee left. Uh, oh well. We'll deal with it. I think my eyes are gonna water after that. <laughs> oh, last one, last one. So this is spelled S-O-A-N-P-A-P-D-I. And, um, it's like so, so on papti. Um, when I picked this one, I picked it because Miss Armstrong explained to me that it was kind of like a cotton candy type texture that it melts in your mouth. And I have a really strange, I love cotton candy so much. Um, but it's also nutty flavored. So I guess we'll find out what this is. There's so much here. I hated, I hated taking this one to sample because the package has so much in it. Ooh, it looks like it might have been squished a little. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the package. Here's the, it's kind of like, oh, it smells so good. So good. Okay, come on.
Oh my gosh, it smells like, oh wait, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops. I hope it's still good. I think the package was open a little bit. I think cause like it may have been like dropped or squished or something. This is, I'm afraid it's gonna be such a disappointment. I, oh, it really does have like this really fluffy, I need a, how am I gonna get this out? Okay, let's see if we can, oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, well, it just came off in like a little, a little layer. Oh. I wish you could taste this. It really does melt in your mouth like cotton candy, but it's kind of got these little streaky, like it's layered, like pressed layers of stuff. But it's really good. I just can't get it out of the, oh, I'm making such a mess. It just keeps crumbling. I'm kind of scared to put another bite in my mouth. The first bite was so good, I'm afraid it's going to be disgusting if I do it again. <laughs> okay, here we go. I kind of have like a really weird aftertaste from it. I don't know if it's that or all the other weird candy foods that I just ate. Okay. I'm wearing it now. Mmm. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of like one of those things you can't decide. But it really does kind of taste like Fruit Loops. And it really does melt in your mouth, kind of like cotton candy. But it almost leaves like this weird film. So. I do like it better than, no. I don't know if I like it better than the chocolate. The chocolate was so bitter, but at least I knew what to expect. And this has like little slivers, like it has a little sliver of an almond in it. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Either way, um, I'm sure when you guys are at school, you really, really, really enjoy doing this in your class. And I'm glad that I got to at least have just a little tiny part of this with you. I don't know um, if I want to partake again, but maybe, so, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing everybody's reaction videos to these weird candies or I don't know, there's chips and other things too. I didn't get any of that. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why I put another bite of that in my mouth. It's kind of weird, gross. Either way, hope you enjoyed this and, um, I hope you enjoy when you do get a taste all these fun treats. <laughs> Till next time. Hey, hello students, that's Captain Rice here. Well, I'm about to do a little taste challenge, a little things from India. As you see right here, it says magic pineapple flavored sandwich biscuits. So we're gonna see what this is like. Never been to India. Been in Japan, Philippines, Korea, but never India. Kind of reminds me of some packages from over that area. All right, so it looks like two crackers, a little pineapple cream in the center. Very sweet, very sweet, a little crunchy. You can really taste the pineapple in the center. I think I actually like this. Yeah, if you get a chance to do the magic pineapple biscuits, really sweet, really good. It's like a cookie of a pineapple uh, soft center. I think everyone would enjoy it. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Miss Kennedy here, and um, I'm gonna try Hide and Seek. They come in a little package, and when you open it up, it's got a little container. It's got um, chocolate, it's made from the world's finest chocolate. It says they are chocolate chip cookies. So we're gonna see what they taste like. They smell wonderful. These are really good. Um, they kind of taste like a wafer cookie, and then they have little chocolate pieces in them. And then it's, um, the wafer cookie part is flavored chocolate. Definitely a hundred, these are good. Hey, it's Miss Kennedy again. Um, these are called Poppins, and we're gonna try those. They're packaged like um, Lifesavers are. 
and they come in different colors. We've got orange, purple, and a green color. And we're gonna try the orange one first. Consistency is just like a lifesaver. And it tastes like mango. So the package did say that um, it had mango, black currant, pineapple, and raspberry. I don't have any of the raspberry ones in my package. So we'll try the black currant next. Tastes a little bit, um, a little bit tangy. Um, it's definitely got a weird taste to it. I don't feel like it's black currant tasting. Um, but it's not bad. And we'll try the pineapple last. Definitely a pineapple flavor. So, all in all, these are pretty good. Um, I think that the green ones are the best ones. They're the pineapple flavored ones. Um, and then the orange. And like I said, my package didn't have any of the raspberry in it, which I was a little disappointed because I think that would have been the best flavor because it's my favorite flavor. Um, but all in all, Poppins, not too bad. I'm Miss Armstrong's class. It's your librarian, Miss Hensley. I've got my nephew, William, and my niece, Madison, here with me at school. Hello. And we are taste testing um, some of the candy that come from the India snack crate. It's called Perk Double. It says rip it, share it, and which is what we're going to do. We're going to rip it and share it. And it kind of looks like a candy bar with some like wafery things in it um the main ingredient is sugar and um cocoa so um we are gonna taste test it and let you know how it tastes so i'm gonna break it into some pieces piece for william that's what it looks like kind of looks like a kit kat Mm. Oh, that's my other niece, Delilah. Okay. Maddie, your piece is a little bit crumbly. Good. Lila. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? That is like the good. best candy bar yeah. I've ever tasted. Maddie, what do you think? Good, awesome. William? It tastes like the, the best candy bar I've ever tasted. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not that good. It's okay. To me, it's Lila, what do you think? It's awesome. It's good. It's a little bit dry. Um, Delicious. It's awesome. It's edible. It's good. But... Um, I've had better. Well, um, I'm sorry you didn't get to eat this. I know you normally do. If but we could only shove it in the screen. Yeah, if we could just shove it in the screen, we would. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye. Here's the candy bar. Hey everybody, so I am back and we have just a couple of the food items left. I couldn't get any best to be adventurous, so... Here we go. Um, the first time, there's a couple of things here. The first one is called Parlay G. It calls them biscuits, so I think they're like cookies because it says they're good for dipping in milk. So let's try to see what that. It's a little girl on the front. Let's try to see what that tastes like. Okay, so like I thought, they come into little cookies we would call them cookies um they tend in european kind of biscuits so let's see mm. you know what a shortbread cookie tastes like kind of reminds me it's dry but kind of reminds me of a shortbread cookie mm -hmm. not bad um i could see wanting 
to dip them in um, in milk or coffee to eat them. Let me get right. Yeah. Okay, so that's better than the first one that I did yesterday. Okay, this one. It's called. It's like a Laban. And it's called the Stretchy Man. Can you see that? And a wow whistle. Let's see what that looks like. Get an open. Scissor time again. Okay. Oh, I wish I didn't be like yesterday's. Okay, they look like. Uh, sour things. There's a yellow one and a green one. They look like they got the little crystals, like those sour patch things. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's an orange one. Try this orange one. And there's a yellow one. I guess it's stretchy because it. Okay. This is better. Not bad. Mm. I can see some of you liking this. If you like this, sorry. It's not sour. But. Mm, I guess you could come in red. I really wish they had the red one. Okay. And the last thing, I can't remember if I did this or not. Miss Hamilton might have, I can't remember. It's called Kacha Mango Bite. It's like a hard candy. This is green. I don't know if they all are green. Okay. It's really no taste. I'm. It's hard. I don't know if I want to bite into it or not. If I could break my teeth. It's not bad. I guess I'll just hold this in my mouth for a little bit. But um, much better than yesterday. I could probably handle those. I would like for the, the little biscuits, we call cookies, I'd like to be able to dip something in there. Dip them in something. But other than that, much better than yesterday.